Hello everyone. Alright, so I have a quick video for you today and then probably another one later and then over the next couple months, obviously. So, um, I'm making more videos, but today I'm doing nail mail and the first one is I got from Parrot Polish. I got the new, um, magnetic stamping polishes. I'm so excited. And it's Bengal Cat, Persian Cat, Calico, Siamese, and Tabby. I'm so excited. And look how cute those are. And then, of course, with every order, you get a little soap. And I love these. My kids always take them from me. This one's pretty. It's blue and shimmery. So, I'm going to open these and then show you. So, here they are opened. Um, I purchased two. I don't remember which two. I know this one for sure. Calico. Um, and one other one and they were so kind and sent me the rest um, I used to do some PR swatches for parrot polish um, amazing polishes and I know I've showed uh, the welcome to the jungle collection on here and then some of the older polishes but they have like every type again these are magnetic so first up is Bengal cat and I will have swatches of these but it changes it like this and you can move it around and cat eye polishes are so pretty because they'll change in like different lightings and stuff and angles that you look at it it changes them so much it's amazing so this one's Persian cat you can see it's got like the purpley blue and then it will change and then it brings out other tones as well they're so much fun I don't know if you can see it on camera but it has like red on the bottom you can do different designs and then next up is calico it's so pretty so I'm in my kitchen right now, so the lighting probably isn't the best for these polishes, but I just wanted to show you guys how good and fun they change. They're beautiful. This one I got because I seen, and the color that it changes to is perfect for fall. And then Siamese, you can see the blue and the purple in there. I love it so much. And these, you have to do a couple coats. Um, usually I do two with magnetic polishes. Um, it just depends. And then Tabby, which reminds me, guess what, guys? I got a new baby kitty. Um, I'm so excited. This one is beautiful, too. It's blue, bluish green and teal. Um, I think I'm naming her Sunflower. Sunny, if it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Um... It was at my parents' house. The kids went over and played um, last weekend. And, oh, I don't know if you can hear her. And she was just left there. I mean, we watched to see if a mama would come back or anything. And, ooh, and they did not. So we took her home and started feeding her, like, with the bottle and stuff. And, yeah, so we're just keeping her safe here. And, uh, hopefully everything will go good. And I love her so much. Or him. I don't know. I think it's a girl. <laughs> like I said. So these are the polishes. I'm so, so excited to play with these. They're fun. If you haven't played with magnetic polishes, you definitely need to. Um, oh my goodness. This magnet is so strong. So yeah. I'm excited to show you guys these. You can do like different ones like this and change the shape of the color as well, which is also fun. You just have to play around with it in this one. I hope you can see those on camera because these are just amazing. And again, I'll have swatches and better pictures of these for you. Uh, 
in the next couple days. So I'm just going to set these over here. And then next up, um, I ordered from Sheen. Um, I... Oh, she's crying. She's probably hungry. I might have to go and feed her because she just woke up. Um, I... Let me see. Is that all? I haven't ordered from Sheen. Um, they have like a million different things. Here's the huge receipt. Um, I wanted to get... What was it? This nail art mold. Um... Yeah, let me go feed her and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this one <clears throat> because I can't use gel polish on my nails because it burns. And Debbie from CJS, she always uses gel polishes. So I asked her um, a while ago why it burns so much. And it's probably because I'm allergic to it. So I used to swatch for a few different gel companies. Um, so I have like a whole bunch of gel polishes. Um... I don't use it on my kids. They use just regular polishes. But I really like the designs that people do that have like 3D um, nail art on them. So, um, oh, this isn't even the right one. It's this one. Uh, yeah, so I figure I can still use the gel polish and then just put this under the machine to... That is really, really, like, how would that even go in there? Anyways, so, um, to still use these on my nails, because then you can just soak it off with, um, acetone, rather than using the actual gel polish on my nails, but, I don't remember why I got this one. Maybe for the snowflakes, but, I don't know. Anyways, okay, so I got that one, but I wanted this one so I can do 3D sweater nails. Um, I'm so excited for this one, and of course, I'll do tutorials on it. They feel so shallow. I don't see how that's going to work, but we shall see. Okay, so those are like silicone, and then I also got this one, I guess. <laughs> um... Let's see, garbage. Um, this is a little Halloween one. This one is deeper, so this one will for sure be amazing to make little nail charms. I really don't remember ordering this stuff. I only remember ordering this one. Maybe I looked at it and it was in my cart. I have no idea. This one's going to be fun though, for sure. Um... And then I got some, there's, I think, I don't know what they're called. We, like back in the day <laughs> of doing nail art, we used to call them caviar beads. So they're like super, super tiny. Um, I got gold and silver because those are fun to put on your nails. And then also because of the whole gel um, allergy, I love when people do the designs of like, water droplets on their nails that's why a while back I was like oh I'm testing something because I tried doing it with just regular top coat but after it dried it just flattened out and it did not look good so I was thinking um of like alternative ways to make it look like water droplets or something and I know in like when I used to do crafts, they're called like kaboggins, I think. Um, and like I used to make rings and then you'd put it on and it's just like a clear bump. So I was kind of looking for something like that. And I found these. So I think those look like water droplets or something. And then I also got these colors. What is that? It's like a black thing. Ew. Okay. So I got those colors. And then these ones. Like these ones for sure could be water droplets. Or like the blue ones. But I think those would be a lot of fun. So yeah. Just a little few things from Sheen to try out. These I'm really curious about because of how thin they are. Like not 
deep, but we'll try because this is like so fun. So I'm going to do that in like a sweater design on your nail. So then it will be raised up, if that makes sense, like 3D. So that's going to be fun. And then, I don't know, some snowflakes and it's like little swirls and a Christmas ball, a butterfly, a flower, kind of random stuff. So anyways, and then here's the polishes again. All right. I hope you have a good day and I hope you look forward to nail art and swatches with these. Gosh, they're so pretty. Okay. Anyways. All right. See you later. Bye.